Car accident. Was she in this condition when you found her? Yes, unconscious, no responses. Normal, but some evidence of pathogenia. Oh. That doesn't look good. Pupils Nurse. dilated and slow. Another one coming in right behind us. Is this a car accident? Yes. She doesn't seem hurt except for the cut. Oh, examiner. A baby. Take care of you. take our eyes off her. She was so full of youth, beauty. We, we were swept along by her. Everything she did seemed like fun to her. She was so happy and relaxed. So totally at home with us. As though she'd always been a part of our little group. Part of our lives. She was with us only three days. Then that last day, that boat ride. We took her out on the lake and lost her. She went for a swim and just disappeared. Annie was gone. And we were to blame. We should have been able to save her somehow. It was our fault, all our fault. The lady in my dream. I'm gonna ask you one more time, Rita. Where is she? I told you, she's where she'll be safe from you. From me? No. No, you're trying to take her away from me again. And I'm gonna stop you. How? I'm gonna stop you all. Permanently. I'll be with you again. I'll be with you, my love. Soon. Real soon. Presented by today's cheer, made to work hard in today's lower temperatures. And by Crisco Oil for fried foods with no greasy taste and for light tasting salads. The Browns, Hi. Hi, kids, you just missed supper. But you're still in time for dessert. Mmm. Did you marry me just for my mama's blue ribbon cooking? You mean my Crisco cooking. Now take that lime chiffon pie. It's Crisco that makes a crustle flaky even on the bottom. And that's what makes Crisco pies taste so good. Your pie does look good, Mo. Almost as good as your chocolate cake. That's my chocolate mocha cake. Crisco's what makes it rise so high and light. Mm -hmm. And it's Crisco that makes the frosting turn out so creamy. And son, you'll never taste anything better than your grandma's Crisco cooking. Unless you marry the Crisco cook, right? Look for my Crisco recipes in your favorite woman's magazine. Crisco will do you proud every time. What you making? I'm making spicy apple muffins. They're new from Duncan Hines. Where's the apples? Right in the mix. And something extra good in the mix means extra good taste in the muffins. Delicious apples and spices are now in an extra good, extra moist Duncan Hines muffin. Mmm. Well, how do you like those apples? Mmm, delicious.
in the Johnny Clark. But Mom cleaned it with cheer and hot water. Today, my daughter's wearing the new 50s look. Now the colors are bright and hot, but the water's warm and cold. So cheer's changed too. It's got a temperature-sensitive formula now that can clean these muddy polka dots in warm and this hot pink in cold. See? No spots on the dots. And hot pink never looks cooler. Cheer's changed with the time. So is the box, or whatever they're calling it this week. Temperature-sensitive cheer for today's lower temperatures. The sins of the fathers should be visited on their children. And soon, very soon, uh, Commander, the picture's... 20 years old. What could a 20-year-old picture have to do with a lot of people now? It's all coming full circle. What is? She's found you again. Who has found who? Don't you play the fool, Reardon. I know what you're after. I knew what you were after then. You're the only one who had the nerve to come back and face me and talk to me afterward. If I understood what you were talking about, you know, maybe we could carry on a conversation it's here. It's starting. All over again. Just when I thought it had stopped. Just when I thought it was over. That every moment, every second of that time so long ago had been once and for all erased. Now they're trying to... They're trying to take her back from me again. No one is trying to take anyone back again. Tony! Tony, can't you understand that? I can't let them do it! I can't let them take her again! It nearly... It nearly drove me mad the last time. Tony, I can't... Hey, Tony, I can't go through it again. I... Okay, you, you don't have to. You don't have to go through it again. Oh, oh, I, I don't even know what it is, Commander, but, you know, we can get someone for you to talk to. You can work this whole thing. what? Well, one of your psychiatrists? Huh? You might understand. No, they don't understand anything. All they do is blunder around in people's minds. They, they, they try to find the guilt and fear, and then they amuse themselves with it. You need some help. Maybe no, they could no, do that. I don't need anybody. I knew what I had to do the first time I set eyes on you when I saw you with her. I knew what happened the minute I saw that picture and all those people... I don't even know what you're talking about! This time, there's not going to be any mistakes. No halfway measures. This time, Tony. This time, I'm going to destroy them all. Annie swam and dove, and every time she surfaced, she was further away from us, waving, laughing. Finally, H.B. got mad, thinking it. She wouldn't answer his calls, and he rode back to shore without her. I was still half drunk when we got back to camp. I had to be helped up the bank. I could barely even walk. But I remember everyone was talking very loud. Beers and you act like a 20-year drunk. I want to sleep. Well, you get your foot out of that bed. Oh. Oh. Tom, I'm sleepy. Tom, we got a real prize case here. Two bottles of beer and he is finished. Over the hill, beyond the river, and down into Glen, passed out, stewed, stewed again. Tom, don't move. Tom wanted to know where Annie was. All right, here we go, here we go. What happened to the girl? Down, down, down the hatch, baby. Right. Down the hatch. Did you get out of the water? No, it was taking her. Henry, be right with, with you. Henry. Henry. He couldn't believe we just left her in the middle of the lake. Perfectly okay. H.P. told him Annie was just playing some kind of crazy game. Hide and seek. No. He'd gotten tired of waiting for her, but uh, 
Tom got into one of the canoes. Went off to look for it. Brandon growled that Annie was nothing but a tease, making fools of us all. It was good riddance. Tom wouldn't listen. He went out to try to find it. H.P. called out, don't bother. Annie can swim like a fish. She'll make it back when she wants to. Tom kept going. Brandon yelled after him, come on back. You're not being paid to look for girls. But Tom ignored him until he rode out of sight. The others walked away. And I sat at the water's edge, waiting. She's on leg already. Tom returned, Annie would be in the canoe with him. Cold and tired, maybe. Laughing at us, maybe, for getting so upset, but there, in the canoe, safe and sound. I already feared the worst. No. It was late when Tom got back. Alone. He said he'd covered almost the entire lake without finding any trace of it. The others just laughed it off. H.P. joked that Annie must have found another campsite with another bunch of middle-aged admirers, and Brandon agreed. Well, come on, fellas. He said she'd just gotten bored with us. Like a spoiled child went off looking for a new toy. Then they went to bed. We're not doing any serious fishing tomorrow morning. We're going to get up early. Come on, let's get to bed, huh? Get some shut eye. I think Tom had sensed all along that under the games with Annie that we were playing, something serious was going on, something almost desperate in the way that we vied for her attention. And that no good would come of it. No. No good did come of it. Tom and I sat by the fire all night, staring at the embers, not saying a word. But we each knew what the other was thinking. What could have happened to Annie? We found out next morning. It happens every time you bake up my pipe and hot loaf. Jumbles brand dessert mix, a fresh idea from Pillsbury. Bottoms chewy oatmeal, middles moist and fudgy topped with oatmeal. It's Jumbles. Fudge Jumbles. More than a brownie, nothing like a cookie. It's Jumbles. Fudge Jumbles. Fudge Jumbles, the new dessert idea from Pillsbury. The freshest ideas are bacon. New Fudge Jumbles. Bacon at Pillsbury. <laughs> What shocking facts does this new blockbuster book uncover about Natalie Wood's death? Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. What does the coroner's secret report reveal about her last moments? An exclusive Inquirer book bonus tells you. How can you replace high-calorie snacks with low-calorie treats? What do lips say about people's personalities? It's in the Inquirer. Can Dynasty's Linda Evans' exclusive beauty tips help you look like a million? Find out in the Inquirer. Over 100 features for people with inquiring minds. Like me. There's something special happening at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Fresh buttermilk biscuits made from scratch. Our chicken head biscuits a perfect match. Light and fluffy, they're made from scratch. We start with real buttermilk, and we make them fresh all through the day. Fresh, like our chicken, because that's the Colonel's way. Fresh buttermilk biscuits made from scratch. Our chicken head biscuits a perfect match. One more way. This week, Jack commits to Diane. I'm in love with you. Can you give me one good 
reason why I should trust you. Because you love me. And on Capitol. I think this is going to be a very interesting evening. Fran prepares for a date with Myrna's husband. Exciting drama weekdays. Dawn, would you go sit right over there for a minute? Would you? I'll be right over. Good girl. Any word in the yet? No. Any family members been contacted? No. Why not? Didn't she have an identification or a driver's license yes. or anything? We found out the name is Welsh, but she's from out of state, and the police are having a lot of trouble tracking down any family. I guess they haven't had much time, huh? Look, maybe Lauren could help us out. She might be able to tell us a name or no. a phone number. No, I don't think well, so. Why not? Either she can or she won't speak. Oh. The only reason I know her name is because it's written inside of her book. What do we do then? Wait. That's all we can do until we hear about her mother. And what about Lauren in the meantime? It's a good question. Well, obviously, she can't be left alone. Well, I'm off duty, so I'm going to sit and wait with her. Yes, Doctor. Oh, I will let you know as soon as I hear anything. Oh, right, thank you. Can I have that? Oh, sure. You sure you don't want this? Put it in your pocket and save it till later. You want your mommy, don't you? Oh, baby. There's a statewide bulletin out there for you. You can't step foot outside this house. Somebody can get a seat. Your time is up. Not my time, baby. Your time. Hey, these guys shoot first and ask questions later. You'll never see daylight again. Shut up. Taken care of any. Everything. Yeah, what have you taken care Nobody's of? Nobody's going to stop me. The machinery is all in place and it's working. What machine? They are going to be wiped off the face of this earth. Obliterated. The Bowers, the Chamberlains, the Lewises, the Spaldings. The Reardon's the whole degenerate crew. In exactly 13 minutes. Yeah? How? At that moment. At that exact moment, Reardon. You will join in hell. another bomb? Of course I did. And my courier was B. What are you talking about? She's a good woman. But unfortunately, she... You're a liar. My mother lying. would never do anything like that. The camera, Tony. The camera. Plastic explosives in the film compartment. Very small. Very, very Oh, my God. You put a bomb at the meeting? The camera. It brought back the memories. It's only the fit that it ends them put once down the gun. and for all. God! Annabelle. What about Annabelle? Annabelle's at the meeting with your bomb. No. Yeah. No, she can't yeah. be.
thinking about Annie. I kept looking at the lake, hoping, hoping against hope that I'd see her swimming toward me. Tom started the breakfast. He had his radio on, as he always did, to listen for the weather reports. And I was very grateful for the music, for the routine. I wanted everything to be as normal as possible. And then we heard it, the news bulletin. It said, a young lady had been found that morning in the lake, drowned. I was sick. I'd known all along that it was possible. Annie could have drowned when we left her out there alone in the lake. But I'd stayed up all night trying to convince myself that it wasn't possible. She was too vital, too full of life. Ever to die like that? She had died. And none of us except Tom had lifted a finger to help her. The rest of them had heard the news. And H. would move quickly. He, he gathered us all around the picnic table and he told us that what had happened was tragic, but it was an accident. It was a tragic accident. What happened on that? Brandon was more blunt, he said. Whatsoever to do with it. <laughs> Annie was nothing but trouble from the moment she arrived. We didn't force the her only to jump off the boat, that way swim around like that. We keep our mouths shut for the rest of our He'll ask what we should do, and H.B. said, all the pleasure keep me right quiet. Now, but that's the way it's going to be. He said, nothing that we did was going to be of any help to Annie. It wouldn't bring her back to life. So why should we get ourselves involved? It could ruin us. And Tom said he thought we were already In involved, but Brandon didn't agree with that. <laughs> He reminded us that our careers were at stake. He said the appearance of guilt is just as bad as guilt itself. This scandal could hang over our heads for the rest of our lives. Then he insisted we all take a pact of silence. And Tom resisted. He said it wasn't right. I changed his mind. Henry, Tom. I pointed out what it would do to Tom. be and the children. And Henry. He finally agreed to do it for their sake. We placed our hands one on top of the other. And we swore that we would never, ever tell a never soul about what had happened. Nobody. We swore on the lives of the people we loved. And that was it. Let's break camp. H.B. said to break up camp immediately and go home so we could put it all behind us. I could never put it behind me. In the memory of Annie and of that terrible day has haunted me for 20 years for a beautiful land. <laughs> at that lake. I was there. I have to go back. Tom, really, Tom, Tom took it harder than any of us. He had a very strong sense of right and wrong, that boy. I think that's why he left his home and his family. Just disappeared. Mom. this damned camera behind him with a picture inside. This Pandora's box for somebody to find and open. Quinton? Yes, sir. Please, dear boy, take this. Take it away.
the congested cold. Mm. It grabs hold of your head. It's hard to breathe. Mm. It grabs hold of your chest. Mm. It feels tight, clogged mm. up. Head and chest cold medicine breaks the hold of the congested cold. It breaks the congestion in your head so you breathe easier. Head and chest breaks up the congestion in your chest so you feel better. Break the hold of the congested cold with head and chest. Hi. You're Joe the plumber? Yeah, I sure for Joe I am. Can you save my sink? Saved. Now this. Last night's dinner. And germs. You need Comet, the two-in-one cleanser. Only Comet's got chlorinol for two kinds of clean. Comet cuts through tough, greasy food stains better than other leading cleansers. Easy. Plus, only Comet says it disinfects. Where did you learn that? My Aunt Josephine. To wipe out stains and kill household germs, get Comet. The two-in-one cleanser. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Tonight, a kid gets framed and Ben's trust is tested. I'd be willing to put my boat up as security. Ben, he's gone. On the Mississippi. Then Lindsay Wagner was everything a mom is supposed to be until her tragic death changed everything and Ricky Schroeder was left with half a family. I hate you being my father! Two kinds of love. It's all tonight. This is CBS. Fresh Downy now costs you less. We take the nuts very seriously at the Fisher Nut Company. We take peanuts and pecans, Brazil cashews. And give them lots of loving care. It's how we roast them that makes them good as can be at the Fisher Nut Company. At Fisher, we take the nut very seriously. Fisher. You're viewing KEYC-TV Mankato. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Lemon Fresh Joy. For a beautiful shine, let your joy show. And by Duncan Hines, new Duncan Hines Deluxe. I mean, that sounds like H.P. No, I don't think it does. I don't think oh, Daddy would have handled it like I that. I think it does. Sounds exactly like H.P. Yeah. That's exactly why he's not here tonight. He didn't want to be here when we found out about this episode from this glorious past. Uh -huh. Fish, do you know what this is all about? Some of it. Well, can you tell me what Henry's story has to do with your brother's car being blown up? Yeah, how about it, sis? Well, I know that the bombing is connected in some way to the photograph of the fishing trip that Tony found. Oh, that's a photograph in the bar. You know, uh, Henry was talking about that this morning. No, uh, did he tell you how it all fits in? Or? No, but he said he was going to this evening. And I'm sure he will, but please, give him some time. He looks very upset right now. You're right. It must be very difficult for him to go through all of this alone. Thanks a lot, H.B., huh? <laughs> but then why were the rest of us called here? The picture is also linked with some of the things that have been happening lately. Such as? Such as the murder of a Dr. Gwen Harding. That was Annabelle Sims' psychiatrist. You know, 
This Annabelle seems to be connected with everything somehow. I know. Well, who is this Annabelle? Annabelle Sims. She's Tony Reardon's fiance. Ah. Well, is she here tonight? Yes, she is. She's sitting right over. What? Well, that's funny. Where is she? Where's Annabelle? She's sitting here, maybe. Well, where is Annabelle anyway? But she was over there a minute ago. You know, Tony had found this camera and had this film developed. I never would have known why Tom left. Do you regret finding out? I don't know. I have to admit there were times during the past six months when I wish your father just thrown this thing out before he left. Now, B, B, wait a minute. B. Yeah. Why did you bring this camera here tonight? It was Eli's idea. Eli's? Yeah, he, uh... He seemed to think that it would help Henry to remember. I wasn't sure, but Eli was so insistent I didn't feel I could uh, refuse. Well, it was at the lake, so who knows? It might jog Henry's memory. Well, the families are at that meeting now. My God, what if Eli shows up? He'll have them all right where he wants them. He doesn't have to show up. It was Eli's idea. He'll have them right where he wants them. All the makings of the bomb. Eli, 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 No! It's a bomb! Get down! Get him out! Come on, wait a minute, you don't! Get him out! Get everybody out of the house! There's a bomb in there! There's a bomb in there! Get him out! New Duncan Hines rises to new heights of moistness. This is the day of new taste. Deluxious. This is the day of new moistness. New Deluxe Yellow rises above the rest. Mmm, moisture. A super creamy batter for higher moistness. Amazing moistness. New heights of moistness. Now America's rising to a new taste. Moist. Rising high to a new taste. Mm. High rising. Moisture. Second Hines Deluxe. Mmm. Deluxe. Bye-bye, good old pie. Second Hines cake rises so high. Rises to new heights of moistness. Second Hines Deluxe. Deluxe it. Jenny, those dishes I gave you still shine. You let your joy show in the things you do. So let our joy flow. Watch that shine come through. You'll see your flames glow. Lemon Fresh Joy's exclusive formula lets dishes dry clean, shiny, practically spot-free, right on the rack. Watch. Other leading brands can dry leaving dirty-looking spots. Only Joy's anti-spotting formula lets dishes dry practically spot-free down to the shine. You let your joy show in the things you do. You'll see your place go. America's favorite soap, Ivory, has added something new. What is it? A pump. Introducing new liquid Ivory soap. The liquid soap with Ivory's pure, natural kind of clean. Liquid Ivory cleans gently, naturally, without a lot of extra ingredients. Oh, I've tried other liquids, but most aren't really soap. They're detergent. Ivory's a basic, natural soap, and we like that. New liquid Ivory soap. When it comes to clean, it's a natural. Sure, you're all right. Right, right, right. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'm all in one place. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, no, go and see. Maybe someone else no. needs help. No, go on, baby. Go on. You don't have any help. Oh, I just did it. Oh, my Lord. Watch the glass. Give her the glass. Maureen, it was her It's all right. It's all right. I'm going to check on Stacey. You heard it. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's all right. Hope you're okay. We're okay now. And everyone's fine. I think everyone's fine. All right. Yeah. Luncheon, I have to make the dips and the sauces. But I have a secret. Shh. Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing. It's so versatile, it makes a delicious dip, a creamy sauce for vegetables, <laughs> and a tasty change from tartar sauce. Delicious dip, Helen. Oh, Thank and you. I love your fish sauce and Good. that fabulous vegetable sauce. I must add the recipe. <laughs> Sorry. That's my secret. Oh. oh. Hidden Valley Ranch. It's more than just a salad dressing. 
another commercial. You should listen to this. See, I'm not just any kid. I'm a kid that tasted the difference. Because this isn't just any snack. It's nacho cheese Doritos. And it's not just nacho cheese. It's three kinds of cheese. But it's not just three kinds of cheese. It's corn, tomato, onion, and spices. And it's not just corn, tomato, onion, and spices. It's delicious. And it's not just delicious. It's the greatest. Because it's not just any snack. It's Doritos brand. And I'm not just out of Doritos. I'm out of time. I decided to test Heinz ketchup myself to see why more folks choose it. And you know what happened? Heinz didn't run. Then I tasted Heinz because to me that's proof. One taste and I knew which ketchup I liked best. Unbeatably thick rich Heinz is America's three to one choice over any other single ketchup. Taste it for yourself. No contest. Heinz, America's favorite for thick rich ketchup. Beth, is that you? Hi, it's me. Um, Fred, no, stay down there. Don't come up here. You promised me. Fred? My bodyguard. Compliments of Daddy. Why do you have a bodyguard? Oh, it's, it's something about some old picture I, I'm not even sure about. Can I come up? Uh, actually, Mindy, no. I, I'd, uh... I'd rather be by myself right now if you don't mind. I know the feeling. No, Mindy, I uh, I don't think you know this one, so I I uh, really. But I do, I I do, Philip. Believe me. Mindy. I didn't feel like seeing anybody myself a little while ago when I thought my daddy had died. Yeah, I know, but. but you came over anyway, and I'll tell you, you listened while I talked. It made things a lot better. I did, huh? A lot better. You were really a friend in need. So I'm here, and I, I would like to be the same for you. Well, thanks, Mindy. I appreciate that. I really do. But I don't know what it, you can do for me. Unless you can talk Beth into seeing me again. She says she doesn't want to, so... I, I heard. I'm oh, really you did? <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've just been sitting up here trying to, trying to figure out why. Why she just break it off for no reason. And I'll be damned if I can figure it out. I, well, maybe I can. You can? Well, I know who. I know it's Bradley. I know it's something that he's done somehow. He never wanted us to go out. He put pressure on her to stop seeing me from the start. I guess he just put more and more and more until she finally just couldn't take it anymore, I guess. Poor Beth. Yeah. Well, I guess you're right. Well, when the chips are down, she, she chose the family. No, she right. didn't choose. No, that's... that's. Well, family ties are very strong, I'll tell Mindy, you. Mindy, that's not it. Bradley is not family ties. Well, maybe not, but... I think it had to happen. What do you mean it had to happen? All that stuff that was between you and Beth went so deep. What stuff? Bradley. Well, he hasn't been hassling you for anything you've done. Or he's been hassling you for who you are. A Spalding. I'm not a Spalding anymore. But you still are to him. And you always will be. He'll always be threatened by that, too. Well, so what? I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe he does feel that way. He's always made it clear he thinks the Spalding's are the enemy, but I don't see how that affects yeah, that. Yeah, he's just not in the same class as you are. And he never will be, and there's nothing that's going to change Mindy, that. it's not class. It's anger. It's anger that he feels towards me. And that started when my dad fired him. Now, that's what I think it is. That's when he turned it on me. Yeah, maybe that's what triggered it. But I'll tell you, when, when somebody hates you for who... Who you are, there's nothing much you can do about that. You just can't change that. No, I guess you can't. You can't change that. Wait a minute. God, I am so stupid. Maybe I can. How? Talking about 
Well, why does Bradley got his job back at Spalding? Well, I don't see what good that would... That would change everything. Sure it would. How? Well, I mean, Bradley had a job at the hospital. That didn't change anything. No, and all the fights that's he different. picked with you... That's different. No, that's totally different. Listen, if he got his job back at Spalding, he couldn't resent me anymore. He couldn't feel this anger he does towards me, and he'd have to ease up on that. Maybe he'd let her start seeing me again. Doesn't that make sense? Sure it makes sense. Look, Philip, I want things to work out. Honestly, I do for your sake, but I just don't think that this one job is going to change everything around. Well, it can't hurt. Things can't be any worse than they are now. It started when he got fired. Now, if he gets that job back... God, Mindy, it's worth a try. I just don't want to see you get hurt all over again. Couldn't... Couldn't it just end? You don't understand, Mindy. This isn't, uh, this isn't a book I'm reading. It doesn't just end. I love Beth. Yeah. But this is great. Come here. <laughs> I think you might have helped me figure this out. Good. Good, good. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all the information I need for now. I've got my men posted at the front and back door, and they're going to be here all night. Good. Do you need a ride home? No, thank you, Alan. I'm going to the hospital with Ross. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, you guys look. did this and where the hell is HB, huh? Well, let's get out of here. Here we go. Don't go. Please don't go. Relax. I'm not going anywhere if you don't want me to. Oh, Henry. Oh, B, B. B. How are you? I'm so sorry. Sorry? Well, you're not the one who should apologize. I should oh, apologize. Oh, Henry, I brought that camera. I didn't know. How could you know it was a bomb? You couldn't, dear. I should have figured out what kind of a man Eli was a long time ago. Mom, we were all fooled by him. Yes, B. He was a very clever and devious man. Yes, he certainly was. He was, B. Oh, I should have known, Henry. I should have known. He lived in my house. He became my friend, my good friend. How could I have been so stupid? Don't blame yourself. You're a very sweet, unsuspicious girl, and he took advantage of your nature. No, 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 no. I should have figured him out. Henry, he seemed so kind. He was so kind. He, he seemed to care so much. Joshua Lewis? Yeah. Huh? This just came for you. Thank you. Uh, who's it from? It's from HB. And then the handsome prince kissed her once, very softly, and Sleeping Beauty woke up. She opened her eyes, and she looked at the prince. And Joy returned to the kingdom. Laura, would you wait right here for just a minute? I'll be right back, okay? Was Mrs. Welsh? In a coma. Oh, no. Yeah, we've uh, done everything we could for her. Now all we have to do is just hope she comes out of it. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to go take her mother to ICU. I'll see you later. Doctor? Dr. Ramsey? Yes, yes, but we will have to place Lauren somewhere for the night. No, hasn't the police notified anybody yet? I'm afraid not. Shall I call the Child Welfare Bureau? Uh, no, no. Well, they should be notified. No, no, not tonight. It's too late. Well, they do have a night number. No, no, I'll, I'll take care of her. I will. I'll take care of her. Yes, Doctor. Lauren? talking to right over there? Well, that man's your mommy's doctor. And he was just with your mommy, and he told me that your mommy is fast asleep. Just like Sleeping Beauty was, remember? Yeah. Yes, that's where your mommy is. She's, she's sleeping in there, you know. Yes. You can't see her tonight. No, I'm sorry, sweetheart. She needs to keep sleeping, you see. And I think that's what you could use a little sleep. You know that? 
I'm going to take you someplace nice and quiet. Come with me. Come on. Don't you want to come with me? You're afraid to leave your mommy, aren't you? Lauren, listen to me, sweetheart, okay? This is a promise. We're going to come back here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And then you get a chance to see your mommy. Okay? Is that fair enough? Yes. Oh, good girl. Oh. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you as long as you need me to. This is the most revealing hairspray ever introduced. New Alberto V05 is unlike all these other leading sprays. See the dulling, blurring film they leave. Now see how new Crystal Clear V05 reveals all your hair's natural beauty. And the Crystal Clear hold lasts for 14 fabulous hours. New Crystal Clear V05 reveals all your hair's natural beauty. Ralston Purina has researched nutrition, searching for ways to help dogs live longer lives. And we've succeeded with Purina Dog Chow. Every nutritional discovery that can help dogs live longer goes into Purina Dog Chow. Purina Dog Chow brand dog food, helping dogs live longer lives. Waiting here long. Very unoriginal. Your legs must be fatigued. Pooped out. Let me introduce myself. I'm new Legs Active Support Pantyhose with two-step support. Mm, that's original. I put effective support here and here where legs can tire most. That's two steps to help prevent pooped out legs. Ooh, and comfy. See ya. New Legs Active Support. Two giant steps for tired leg kind. Waiting here long. Anyone can conquer the world playing risk. It takes daring strategy. I'm sweeping across northern Europe. Boldness. Cunning. I'm thundering into Mongolia. Not bad for my kids this time. Beginning Sunday on CBS. Chiefs. It started with a shocking discovery. A big doctor from the big city said that that boy broke his neck running away from a sex maniac. Young grifters were disappearing. That boy's dead. You want to wind up like that on some undertaker slab, Hulk? Your folks wondering where you are? No, sir. The chiefs knew who the killer was, but were helpless. This graveyard, I can feel it. Charlton Heston, Wayne Rogers, Brad Davis, and Billy D. Williams hit the all-star cast of Chiefs right after 60 Minutes. How's her condition? Uh, it's, uh, about the same. Does the hospital know she's here? I told the nurse in a minute. Claire, what are you doing? Doing? Yeah. Nelson, look, if you're worried about where she's going to sleep, there's plenty of room in my room. No, I, I, I'm worried about you getting personally involved with patients like this. This is none of your business. I mean, 
How many cases do we see a week that could break our hearts if we got involved with them on a personal level? This is not just but this how, case. How long do you think you're going to last as a doctor if you lose your objectivity? What, Kelly, six weeks? Kelly, six months? Stop. Look, I just want you to be realistic. That's all. I mean, I mean, you're a terrific doctor, but this worries me. I mean, this could jeopardize... A telegram from HP? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. It says, uh, pressing business. See you soon. Sorry to miss the meeting. Oh. oh. Trust all went well. Oh. Uh, well. Th th that there's vintage HB. Oh, but I'm so glad to hear from him. I was concerned about him. Yeah, well, he didn't sound too concerned about us. So Everybody? Oh, yeah. yes, what? yes. I just talked to the hospital. Ross is conscious, and he's going to be fine. Oh, thank good. Goodness. Thank thank God. God we made it through this horror. Well, it's a miracle that nobody was killed. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I'm getting mighty sick of these bombs. Well, I thought by telling the story it might straighten things out, but it's just made things worse, and we still don't know what the mystery's all about. Well... I can, a barbecuing. Barbecuing? It's winter. Yeah, I know it's winter, but if you put Hunt's all-natural barbecue sauce on chicken and bake it in the oven, it's just like barbecuing. Oh, come on, Dick. How can I do that? Because Hunt's is full of chunks of real vegetables. It's thick, and the thicker the better. See, the brush doesn't sink. Brush? What brush? Boy, I wish you could taste this. Mmm. Dick. Dick. Hunt's all-natural barbecue sauce. Try it in the oven. Can I, can I call you back? I'm, I'm a little tied up. This your price play desk. That Julie, she is so smart. And not even in school yet. Philip is learning all about business with his cash register. Come on. A little tycoon. We got Jessica the Fisher Price medical kit when she had to go to the doctor. My daughter. The doctor. <laughs> This has been Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, and Barney's. Jewelry by Stephen Dweck. Special thanks to the people of Milford, Pennsylvania. Good afternoon from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Police have tightened security.